Hello folks, a few years ago Jack Rickard told me this kind of a tale, I don't know whether he meant it in real or figurative terms, but it was about when you're reverse engineering something, you have a wall in front of you and you have a head and you've got to put your head through the wall and the wall can't get away and you just keep headbutting it until the wall fails. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I think I, uh, I think I got through another wall, but uh, as you can see, I've got a mark of uh, and a bump here of, yeah, of um, significance for my efforts. So, as the title of this video might give away, uh, welcome to the world of VW charger hacking. Uh, we've currently got two um, onboard chargers of Volkswagen um, Heritage. One is from a 2021, I believe, Seat Mi or Mai or however that's pronounced. And the other one is, I'm not sure of the year, but it's from a plug-in hybrid uh, Volkswagen Golf. And that's the one that we have functioning, or at least starting to wake up here on the, the bench. Uh, the me, my, me, my, my. The other charger, uh, we don't have any can logs for at the minute. And unfortunately, it does seem to use different can messaging to the Golf hybrid uh, charger. So if there's anyone out there that uh, wants to do some can logs on a me, my, or golf, or indeed any uh, electric or hybrid vehicle of the Volkswagen um, lineage, then uh, please do get in touch because all of this kind of work really depends on having access to can logs. So, enough of me talking. Let's have a look and uh, we'll show you what we've got going on here and uh, hopefully not scare you too much because it's a little bit hairy. <laughs> Stay with us, remember, head, wall, wall, head. It's going to hurt. Okay. This is our Volkswagen Golf hybrid charger. So not the e-Golf, but the plug-in hybrid version of Golf. Um, this one purchased from Germany for the princely sum of 150 euros. Uh, as you can see, I have some uh, rather high quality connections going to it here. So, this had this kind of a really weird fitting here. I'm not sure if I still have it lying around. Oh, I do. Here it is. This had this thing bolted on the front for all of the DC uh, connections because they seem to use the charger as a kind of a high voltage distribution point so there's all of these gomi connectors so we got that off there and I just connected directly to the high voltage DC uh, cabling so hopefully when I get my 3d printer I'll be able to 3d print something to um, Put a nice gland or something like that here. This is the AC mains input. As you can see, we have our live and our neutral, and I've just connected earth here to the casing of the charger, but that, that other pin in there on the left is indeed the earth pin. This guy here is our signals uh, connector, which is manufactured by TE. Uh, but you can't get it from TE, so you have to get it from Volkswagen, which I duly did today to the princely sum of 21 euros. This is the me charger. Me, my, me, my charger. So this charger is slightly different, different connectors for the high voltage, uh, but it does have the same connector uh, for the signaling. So... What signaling do we have and what kind of nightmares do we have wired up here? Well, this is the charge port 
from the Say At Me. This isn't mine, I have a loan of it. But it's actually really good that I got a loan of this because this has a obviously a locking mechanism and a feedback mechanism for that lock. Um, and we have to connect that to our data connector on our charger. Uh, so I've just got little crimp terminals just connected. This is the lock and the lock feedback connections. Um, it also has a temperature sensor in there, which we've just spoofed with a res resistor uh, for now. Um, little RGB LED here, just so we can see uh, status of things. Now there is obviously inside the charge port, there's this RGB LED strip here, but we're not using that because obviously we're not going to be using a Volkswagen charging port with this thing, but having access to it has meant that I can, um, you know, figure out what the signaling is. And all of that's documented, by the way, on the old open inverter forum and the newly born wiki page for these chargers. So we've figured out pinouts and connectors and all that kind of thing. So also here, on our charging port, we have our control pilot and our plug present signals. I've got a granny cable just plugged into this here, just a type two granny cable. Uh, so we can do some charging. Now, in order to provide high voltage battery uh, for our charger to put some energy into, we've, um, we have done a bit of a hack job over here on the land yachts high voltage junction box and just connect it in here um, to the high voltage system so that we can basically run power back into the yacht here uh, by just putting the VCU into HV on uh, condition. So that's kind of a handy way of uh, just getting HV here at the minute. So, how do we control this thing? Because it it doesn't just work when you, you know, give it 12 volts, give it high voltage and plug in a, char a charging cable. It'll blink the LED at you and just sit there for a bit, but it won't do anything useful. So we got to send CAN to it. And so we have our pair of twisted pairs. But being Volkswagen, they couldn't just do with one CAN bus. Oh no, we have to have two. And not just two CAN buses, but they have to have extended IDs on them. Thank you very much, very useful. So, this computer is sending CAN on what's called a hybrid uh, CAN bus. And if I can get my GOMI computer to do something useful, do something useful, GOMI computer. This computer is sending messages on what they call the powertrain CAN bus. So, powertrain CAN here, and there's hybrid CAN. Oh yeah, here it is, hybrid CAN here. So, at the minute, I don't know what IDs we actually need. There's probably tons that we don't need. But what I can do is get the charger to kick on, um, give me a nice blue LED on here. I don't know if that's the correct color because I don't know if I've wired up the RGB things correctly here. Um, but in any event, um, it will kick on, uh, turn on the granny cable and start pumping DC here into our land yacht. So I'll go ahead, get set up, and we'll see if we can duplicate that on camera. Probably not, knowing my look, but always worth a try. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect to the VCU in the yacht. I'm going to turn on the HV. So let's do that. HV is, is on. Now the next things I have to do, I gotta do them pretty quick. So 
going to be 12 volts on, powertrain can on, and then hybrid can on here. So here we go, 12 volts on, go. Tech charger is alive, uh, we're going to go, playback, go. Okay, powertrain can is on, hybrid can is on. And our LED is doing kind of a purple color over there. Again, I don't know if that's the right color, it's just how I happen to have the LED wired pretty soon well it oh there it goes it's doing the blue thing we hear a click inside the charger now we're up to five hope you'll be able to see this 5.8 amps of current uh on the charger 5.9 amps then if i stop hybrid can That'll basically stop there, and we can stop, and 12 volts off. So, that is a very quick demo of the um, Volkswagen Charger charging, um, just by replaying can log uh, from a Golf hybrid back into it so there it is folks we've worked out our can um, messages that we need to make this charge or charge turns out we only need one id on the pt can and six on the hybrid can and it will wake up and commence charging now what the format of those messages is and what they individually do, I don't know, because there seems to be very little info on the uh, VW CAN bus uh, stuff, at least in in terms of uh, the EV components and so forth. But uh, these little chargers, I think, are going to be very uh, useful for us. It's quite a neat package. Um, so i will work away on the can info that i have at the minute we'll try and work out what some of these messages do like being able to control the power and read back info about the maybe the pilot and the mains voltage and charging currents and all this kind of thing we'll have to probably end up having to decode that from first principles because as i say there just doesn't seem to be much out there on the VW uh, CAN systems. So, good first stage, getting this little charger to wake up and actually deliver some power for us. As I've said, if there's anyone out there that has any uh, logs or would be willing to do some logging on, particularly, uh, say at me, VW up, um, golf, uh, both the hybrid and the um, e-golf and any of those kind of vehicles then do please get in touch but other than that yeah pretty good uh, pretty good first uh, go at this so I'll wrap up um, I will put some links in the video description to the wiki page and the tread over on the open inverter forum where we're um, working on reverse engineering these chargers um and i'd like to be able to think as well i'll be able to integrate this into the zombie verter vcu so put those links in the description along with the usual suspects for github and oh i do have a github repo uh for this guy as well and tom debris is helping out massively there so big thanks to tom um so I'll put links in the description for all that stuff. And as usual, folks, don't forget to dislike, do not share, unsubscribe from this loser channel. And um, yeah, please do unsubscribe because if I hit, you know, that big number, I'm going to have to do something crazy like another EV project and nobody wants that. So I'm going to get wrapped up um, and then we'll go and... Uh, pour through some of these can logs and see what else we can find so we'll be back hopefully when we have some more control over this charger 
and maybe even be able to get the say at me uh, variant of this guy working so that's it folks and uh, until next time there's only one thing to be said really and that's happy Volkswagen charger hacking